happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a wonderful morning. I just wanted to come and um, I'm about to go to work in a few, in like 30 minutes I have to leave. But I just wanted to, um, I just really felt like I wanted to bring a message be because of all this purging energy that I feel. Like, I really, I like how my mind thinks. Like, basically, like, I will think something and then something will happen and then I make the connection. <laughs> okay? And so I, um, I just was feeling like this weird feeling of depression where it just had no place. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even feeling, hey, Pierre, thank you for joining me. And I was like, why do I feel that way? And I, I went out and I seen the crescent moon and I was like, ooh, you know, like that's some real purge energy. And then that was yesterday. And then I woke up this morning and I really felt it strongly again. And I was like, yeah, like it's really um, a purging feeling. And I've heard that word a lot of times and I didn't really understand it. And what my understanding now is that, like, you actually have to just, like, feel your feels. You know, like, you have to actually go. When you're going to let something go, okay, so we're about to enter into the new moon. And it's supposed to be, like, the closest moon to the Earth. Or, you know, the, like, the, the closest new moon to the Earth or something like that. It's like a super new moon. I never even heard of a super new moon. <laughs> before this morning <laughs> on Facebook <laughs> and uh but I just really I'm like wow that shit's hella strong because I'm I don't I've never really felt this energy before and recognized it so without further ado I just want to pull a few cards I'm gonna in fact I'm gonna pull I'm going to pull two cards from the flower deck, the oracle, two oracle cards, and then clarify with the tarot and the dope deck. And I'm going to try to make this short <laughs> because I have to go to work. But I, was, I dropped the kids off and I was like, I just, I wanted to pull some cards. <laughs> I explained it to you. All right. Damn. Let go of anxiety. Ha! Okay? Hey, Mark. Wow, that's crazy. So I'm talking about the moon purge, right? And how we have to let go and accept this new beginning, right? And I swear to God, what I was feeling was anxiety, okay? It was a feeling of anxiety. <laughs> and uh, it says, calm your nerves and you'll be able to hear the voice of your angels. That's lovely. Lavender, okay, lavender is an excellent calming flower and great for the symbology. And what I like about these cards too is that you could actually like use this in practicality too. Like it would be practical to calm your nerves with some lavender. Wow. I want one more. That's crazy. That one kind of flipped, but I guess. So, like, I'm trying to, like, learn my style, you know, because, bam. Stand by your commitments, the pink lily. You're strong enough to keep the promise that you've made. Don't back down, don't back out now. Your angels believe in you. And that's the pink lily. So, calm your, let go of anxiety and stand by your commitment. Wow. Like, if that's a message already, okay, thank you, Spirit, for a message, like. I, so like I was saying, it's like, I'm really new to this, right? And I, I'm really just, thank you for being here <laughs> with me as I learn to follow my intuition and like listen to my guidance because it's a really about trusting yourself and like accepting that you know what you're talking about. And it's like, so I just appreciate you all as I like figure out my, my method of, um, of like how to read these cards or like how I want to pull the message out. 
you know, um, I'm going to be changing and working it, you know, what feels good. But today we're just going to do two Oracle cards. And we already, like, have a message here. So let go of the anxiety. So we're going to clarify. Oh, for sure. Yay. I'm glad that you resonate with that. You know why? Okay, let me get excited. Okay. Because I'm because I watched tarot. That's why I'm doing this. And I did not, like, learn tarot by actually reading cards. I've been having my own sets of cards for a while and it's like I would never use them or look them because I didn't understand them and then I didn't have this feeling of wanting to like learn them all but I learned it through watching other people and what I realized is that like it's crazy how you resonate with other people <laughs> and how we have this collective energy so thank you for letting me know that I'm not the only one out here experiencing anxiety right now and uh taking the message of Standing by your commitments, like whatever that you've been working towards, like it, it can still happen. Okay. The hermit came out, but I didn't actually shuffle these. The hermit did slide right out. And the hermit, okay, this is major arcana. This is a good, um, hey, Jerrica. So this is all about taking your time and looking at, this is Virgo energy, okay. And it's all about, and we're in Virgo season. So, bam, okay, about to go into this new moon. Take your time, okay? We just went through hella retrogrades through July and August, okay? Hey, Ruby, we just went through hecka retrogrades. Things, what wasn't serving us, the universe ripped it out of us, okay? They, they, they switched up, twirled our lives around, made us make decisions, ones that we probably helped us come out of cycles, Okay. Hey, Charles. And, um, so we letting go, like we're, we might be in this anxious stage of like, my life is changing. I'm like, I'm happy because I feel really happy. You know, I'm like, so why are I so, why do I also feel depressed? Hey, happy birthday. Okay. That's what's up. Okay. Virgo, Virgo people, um, all of my children's rising signs are Virgo. Okay. So, that's my connection with Virgo. Uh, but, you know, you guys are great, okay? You guys have a very um, perfectionism to you, okay? So you do well, okay? Because you take your time. You don't, you're not just make haste. You're not just like, uh, you know? You take your time, you, you're calculative, and that's what we should do right now. Like, when you're in the season, we're all taking on that energy or being affected by that Virgo energy. So don't be afraid to um, to take your time making decisions uh, this month, you know, moving forward today, whenever, the, whenever this message reaches, reaches you. Okay, let's pull a card. That one came out. I didn't even say what we were pulling it for. Let's just see what it says. The Empress. <laughs> okay. Stand by your commitments. Okay, so... The Empress... Okay. She's more than a queen. She's all of the queens. Okay. She is magical. She's connected with the ethereal realm. This is the divine feminine. Okay. And, um, the divine feminine is an energy that is returning in full force, in full force right now, okay? Right now, the, the planet has been ruled by masculine energy, and as you can see, it's been damn near destroyed, okay? But thank God for balance, right? <laughs> that, you know, divine, um, please say again about the two cards, I want to write it down. Oh, Okay. So it's let go of anxiety with the lavender and stand by your commitment with the pink lily, okay? And so this empress here, this is Mother Earth. Like this is woman spirit and not just a woman spirit, okay? Because we both have masculine and feminine within us. So we're waking that up. Like women who are full of feminine energy, well, we're just going to start 
pulling cards out of nowhere, okay? And just knowing things. Like, we already been knowing things, but now we about to really know, okay? Hey, Dorina, thank you for hopping on and joining me. Um, and masculine, you also, this feminine energy is going to be awakened in you as well. So allow that. Allow yourself to feel feelings and, like, and, and embrace your intuition because the only way you can hear your intuition is if you feel. That's what it's about. It's not, um, you know, your intuition isn't tangible. It's not in the 3D. It's in the 5D, okay? Hey, I. So everybody needs to embrace their inner empress, okay? So let go of your anxiety. Take your time and your planning, okay, and, em and embrace um, your inner energy, Yes, I got you. I will pull you a card just specifically for you. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to pull your card. <laughs> and then I'm going to open up the other deck and see what message we get. I'm getting on my knees. That position is in my lighting. I'm going to pull you an oracle card. Be positive with the bromelide. Your thoughts can shape your experience, so be sure to focus on the positive. I think that's a message for all of us, right? Okay. And, and this beautiful queen is definitely part of strong energy in the collective. Okay, so be positive. And the message to me especially is, you know, I be at the cusp of what I want, trembling in fear. And I said to myself earlier this morning, I was like, like, damn, I almost lost it. <laughs> I said to myself, like I'm, I'm trembling at, at standing in my own power. I'm trembling at, at, at establishing my worth. You know what I mean? I'm trembling at saying what I deserve. I don't like how this lighting is changing. Okay? And so, like, that is what I was going, that is what I'm going through with this full moon close, new moon opening. Okay? Like, today is how I feel. I'm trembling at that. So, be positive. Okay, thank you for asking for this extra oracle card. Okay, you must have known because I didn't even get a chance. I just said, hey, this is your card, and then boom, it flew out of the deck. So, okay. And um, so, yeah, we have to be, po be positive because that's like the brink of manifestation. And so I'm trying not to fuck up my own manifestations by being afraid. That's the same message you keep getting? Wow. Wow. Okay. And it's the same message that I need, okay? So, okay. I don't know what time it is. I can't see it on my phone, but I do have to go to work. So, let's get to this deck, Kaleidodope deck. Um, this deck is very special to me because I paid the most for it. <laughs> because I just needed it. Like, I just was like, no, that is my deck. And, like, even though I really love um, just reading basic tarot, um, I don't know. It just means a lot. I love this. Okay, so we got, we're letting go of our anxiety, and we're, and we're going to do that because we're going to take our time, okay? We're letting go of the anxiety, and we're going to take our time. We're going to hermit a little bit because it's Virgo season. So don't, don't feel bad if you don't just, like, jump at stuff. You know, just take your time about people and things and opportunities that come towards you, Okay? And we're standing by our commitments, like the empress, okay, with the knowing that it's coming into fruition, you know, because she knows. She's not worried about it. Let me see her face. She's not worried about it, okay? She is not worried about it. Doesn't matter what the village people say. It doesn't matter what it looks like to somebody else. It does not matter what somebody else thinks, because <laughs> she knows, okay? So stand by the commitment, like the Empress. All right, so now I'm just going to shuffle this deck and pull two more cards. 
unless without you know unless there's further notice like we need more <laughs> I like this deck because Beyonce is in it and you want to know um something I wanted to make I want to make a t-shirt that says what would Beyonce do? I actually saw that on somewhere else, but it resonated with me because, you know, um, cause she has a way of displaying the Empress energy, you know? So that's like a nice example for today's women to kind of like, you know, to kind of see that what the energy is portrayed that like. she's the only one I can think of at the moment. You know, she does a damn good job at it, actually. Let me stop shying away. Beyonce does a damn good job of, of remaining in her Empress energy, okay? <laughs> but, yeah. All right. So, we're going to let go of the anxiety. This kind of came... Queen of Cups. I'm pulling more. And the High Priest. We're letting go of the anxiety. The Six of Cups. Yes, Sasha Fierce for sure. I don't really know what the Six of Cups means. Let's see. Communication? Let's just look it up. Okay, so first thing that flew out in regards to letting go of the anxiety was the Queen of Cups. Okay? And that is like, that also has to do with your intuition. You know, that has to do with your emotions, feelings, you know. So, along with our be positive, let's fill it up with positive thoughts. Be loving towards yourself. Like, stand in your queen power, okay? And this is for men and women. Like, harness your intuition and your emotional body. You know, allow yourself to feel things. So that, you know, like this purge energy, feel it so you can let it go. The beautiful thing about what I'm feeling right now is that um, I don't believe it anymore. What I used to think, I don't believe the negative thoughts anymore. So it's like now when they come, like even if they come full force and, and cause this energy feeling, in me, my logical mind no longer agrees. So allow yourself to feel that feeling so that you can then train your mind to react so that when when those thoughts come, it's already, it'll, you're the, the muscle will be strong to where you do not um, allow it to, you know, disrupt your energy because you don't believe it no more, okay? I feel like it's almost like purging from the subconscious, you know, my subconscious feeling is, um, because he doesn't call, he doesn't love me. Right. But it's like, or no, not, not that because he doesn't call, I'm not lovable. Okay. But I don't believe that anymore. I know my worth. I know that I'm God's gift to humanity. Okay. So why am I going to be worried about somebody who doesn't want to recognize it? It's because they don't recognize it in them. How is that my fault? It's not. Okay? So, in regards to the anxiety and what you're thinking about in your hermit mode, contemplate whether or not you even believe those negative thoughts and fill your cup up with some love. Okay? The high priest. This is just a knowing Okay, but this is in the masculine, so so allow, so act, 
act like you know, okay? Act like you know you're worthy. Thank you, Spirit. The message, Spirit's like, this your message, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, so act like you know you're worthy and stop, you know, being anxious. Stop being afraid that you're not. <laughs> Shit. Was there another one? The Six of Cups. I don't know what the Six of Cups means exactly, so I'm going to look in the book. But um, all I can see here in this picture is this communication, like, Nostalgia, reconciliation, something from the past, childhood, excitement, happy memories, innocence, and comfort. So yeah, I can see how they came with that. It says, some old school tin can phones are shown illustrating communication from the past. The Six of Cups is reminiscent of people, places, and things from the past that bring happy memories and sense of comfort. And that's wonderful. So that just like in relating to, um, in relating to the, the Queen of Cups, and the high priestess, okay, is that, like, let the happy stuff flow. Stop worrying about that it's bad. Stop, and, like, even in the things that went wrong, appreciate it. I'm feeling emotional. Like, appreciate the memories because, Because when the heart chakra cracks open, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful feeling, but it's also where fear lives because you fear losing it. So realize that love is never lost. My phone battery about to die soon, so... Um, we're going to pull one more card or whatever flies out for, uh, what do you call this? Let me wipe my tears. Um, for standing by your commitments, okay. Well, the Queen of Swords came out immediately. <laughs> no, Queen of Wands. So, High Priestess, Queen of Wands, this is your magic power. Stand by it. Let go of the anxieties. Remember the good times. Accept what has happened and your experience as positive and just and and this is your magic fucking power one more card just because that came out so fast okay that one came out too i'm not looking at it yet i want to get a good shuffle okay Woo, they're falling we got the strength card and the one <laughs> i'm glad i didn't pick that other one up first Okay, we got the strength card. Um, so this is Leo energy. Okay, uh, <laughs> my moon is in Leo. That's why. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so be strong about this shit. You know, shit. Be stand strong in your power and your understanding. Bring your, you know, bring that ethereal to the. To the downward. It takes strength to stand in your power, honestly. She said, don't cry. Some of us are already emotional. That lives... Well, you I, you think I wanted to cry on national Facebook? Okay? No. <laughs> okay, so, so this card is the one that had flipped out at first and I didn't want to look at. Okay? And it's because I didn't want to talk about the devil. Okay? And, um... But you know what? I really, like, don't even see anything. Like, I'm starting to understand the devil more as, like, earthly, you know, and just physicality. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's a, it's a, we got the divine masculine and feminine holding a box of vices, right? But is it really vices? Because it's a green light. I mean, like, maybe it's, like, the key to life. I don't know what's in this box. But it's over a fire. So it's, like, preciousness. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Stay balanced. Don't overindulge. I, I know you can't see this like very well because the lighting. Okay. Oop, lighting. Okay, boom. 
Dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you see how the masculine and feminine energy they're carrying the the Capricorn chest of green light. <laughs> um, the Capricorn chest of green light. All right. Over the fire. So they're saying balance that shit. Okay. So we're purging. Let go of those emotions so that you can be more balanced when you come back. You know, for the new. So that when as we go into September and moving forward into 2020, like. I just really love this card right now. Like, this shit is, it's not a bad card. Okay? The devil brings balance. Okay? Because you got to be tested on your faith. Okay? You got to be tested or else it ain't real. It's okay. It's all talk. So you got to do. You got to act. So as we move forward, standing in our power, standing in our feminine power, okay? Bringing the ethereal down to the 3D so we can create a better world for our children, okay? And for ourselves, okay? And so we can get this prosperity cracking off, okay? And we can enjoy life the way it's supposed to be enjoyed instead of this bondage that we've been taught. Balance, okay? This A lot of people, it's associated with addictions, okay? And, uh, and just overindulgence, unbalanced shit. So you know you, I know me, and be careful. Don't drop the box into the fire with your fear, okay? Don't be so scared that you fuck up your manifestation, okay? Hey, Elizabeth. Um, I'm literally about to end. <laughs> But thank you for joining me. Please watch it again. And please share this or comment and like it if it resonates um, so that the word can get out to that it's okay. Like, even if you've been happy and then you feel this weird feeling of depression, allow yourself to feel that feeling so that you can purge it out and so that your subconscious brain and your conscious brain can start getting on the same page about how you actually feel about certain shit. Okay? All right, I'll see you later.